In his bid to represent Northeast St. Anne, Member of Parliament caretaker Dr. Ryan Simpson is lashing out at the government for what he describes as unfair treatment to craft vendors in Ocho Rios. The former Jamaica Labour Party representative is hoping to vie for a seat in the next general elections. Trisha Gay Kelly shares this report. Though most parishes have a craft market, not all vendors in these markets are profiting. That's the concern raised by MP caretaker for Northeast St. Anne, Dr. Ryan Simpson, who is lobbying for craft vendors in Ocho Rios. Dr. Simpson recounts a particular visit to the market, which led him to believe the vendors are being undermined. I walked in the craft market one, one day when there were two cruise ships in the harbor, and the lady said to me, I made $1,000 today, $1,000 Jamaican dollar in sales for the entire day. Not, not U.S. dollar, 1,000 Jamaican dollar. Another craft trader told me, I came here today, I came here with $1,000 in my pocket, and I'm going to go home with $300 in my pocket, Jamaican dollars. This he links to alleged biases in the industry's operations, which he says are denying locals a vital livelihood. Dr. Simpson fears these vendors have been left a basket of losses. The tourists have been systematically diverted away from the craft markets by our tour operators and taken to inbound shops and attractions, all of whom are now selling Jamaican crafts, mostly made in China. It is neither just, fear, nor equitable. The preacher by profession outlined plans for the constituency should he be elected in the upcoming general elections. Among his plans, designing a protected framework which will safeguard businesses to include the craft market. In addition to that, I will initiate dialogue with the various stakeholders, inc including owners and operators of, of inbound shops and tour operators and attractions, bring them all to the table so that we can walk away with a win-win scenario. But we have to invest and develop in the development of our people. Dr. Simpson was speaking at the Ocho Rios Kiwanis Club's monthly meeting Thursday evening. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.